good day. There you go, and what do you know? He'll strike a light. Good day, good day. And how you go, and just say good day, good day, good day, and you'll be right. Welcome to the Midweek End Times News and Trends Briefing as we share major events and what is happening around the world as it relates to Bible prophecy. Today's date is Wednesday, August 29th, 2000. 18. In today's top news headlines, we see several interesting uh, headlines that are really pertaining to the Middle East. Uh, one came out of the Israel National News that was talking about how Iran links deal with Syria and vows to continue military cooperation. So uh, basically, they're just going to continue their presence and their operation in Syria with Assad's regime signing a deal with the Syrian government on Monday in defiance of what calls for Tehran to withdraw its forces from Syria. And so this deal was inked the day after Iran defense minister as uh, two powers geared up for a large-scale campaign in the uh, Elib uh, province in north western Syria. So we're going to continue to see Iran's presence there, which lines up with Ezekiel 38. Uh, they're going to continue to be there. Same thing with Russia as well. So it's just one of those interesting things uh, to note that, yes, there's other powers that are trying to move Iran out for peace and safety and security, but we know that as Ezekiel 38, Iran will certainly have a presence there in Syria. Uh, also in dealing with Syria, but it's more or less dealing with Russia, uh, out of uh, breaking Israeli news, uh, talked about this uh, report of how Russia warships are heading toward Syria. So this reported uh, Turkey sighted a three Russian warships passing through the uh, the area there on uh, Thursday en route to Syria. Uh, Depka files military uh, sources concluded that the two large uh, Russian landing crafts sent from the Black Sea to Syria almost certainly carrying Russian marines and uh, special forces for attacking rebel groups in that area from the sea or coast, according to uh, the report. So again, that presence of Russia within the region. And also Russia, out of Reuters, had this article that talks about how Russia to hold biggest war games in nearly four decades. So next month, September, will hold its biggest uh, war games with Russia in nearly four decades, according to Defense Minister on Tuesday, a massive military exercise that will also involve the Chinese and Mongolian armies. So the exercise is called Vostok uh, 2018 or East 2018. It will take place in Central and Eastern Russian military districts and involve almost 300,000 troops and over a thousand military aircraft, two of the uh, Russia's naval fleets and all of its airborne units. The maneuvers will take place at the time of heightened tensions between West and Russia, which is also concerned about when it says the unjustified buildup of the NATO military alliance on the Western flank. And so uh, we see the presence of Russia, we see the threat of Russia in Syria and within the Middle East and around the world for that matter. And uh, it's just something to be watchful and how they handle themselves and what they do, how they're very strategic uh, in their positioning and also specifically there in Syria. And then lastly, uh, Turkey's Erdogan to visit Iran September 7th. So this came out of Ynet News, how Turkish President uh, Erdogan will visit Iran on September 7th. Uh, his office said on Monday in a trip to expect to include a three-way summit with Russia and Iran leaders. So the Kremlin said that nearly two weeks ago that Russian President Vladimir Putin may take part in a meeting with Erdogan and Iran President uh, Rahouani uh, at the beginning of September. And so the three leaders met back in April, back in, uh, in uh, Turkey. Uh, where they discuss the developments in Syria. So not surprising to see Turkey involved in this. We do know that Turkey will certainly be a part of the end times uh, invasion at some point with uh, um, 
Russia and Iran and uh, perhaps of Psalm 83 and Ezekiel 38 will be all part of those wars. Uh, so they could be a very uh, key player in all that as well, from positioning to bases to weaponry, you name it, they will probably be a part of that coalition. Anyways, uh, that's it for today's update. Until next time, God bless.